and software also has tools for adding outlines to objects. First, select the object or objects you want to have outlines. The outlines can be either on the edge of the object or offset from the object. We're going to first look at outlines. Click on Outlines and Offsets, and a dialog box will open up. Since we want our outlines to be on the edge of the object, put a check mark by object outlines and uncheck offset outlines. Choose the type of outline you want this object to have, and all 12 different types of outlines can be chosen. Then next, choose the color, and then choose the way you want objects to overlap. The first icon called Individual will add complete outlines to all objects. Click OK, and you can see in Color Film that the outline will be going under the fill stitch. So this is not a good choice for satin stitch outlines because the thickness of the outline will be present under the fill. Let's repeat that process for this next group. Choose Outlines and Offsets. Notice that the software remembers what you chose the last time. This time we're going to choose the second option for overlapping objects. This is called Common. Common outlines will weld the outlines of the two objects so that there is a single outline around the combination. The third type is called Trimmed Outlines. And with trimmed outlines, the object underneath will not have a complete outline, but will be trimmed by the overlapping object. Again, click OK, and you can see the difference among these three types. These three types of overlapping objects will work the same whether the design is ungrouped or grouped. The outlines can then be edited after they're generated.